Jana kuna mtu alikuwa ananiambia uh, nilikuwa nimekucha hapa kuna intercessors walikuwa hapa tukaombea uh, mwinjilisti Ezekiel na kuna watu walikuwa wananiuliza hata wewe unaombea Ezekiel sasa mimi nafaa kuombea nani Ninapaua nani Ezekiel si mchawi Mimi mwezi wa moja ndio naua wachawi lakini huyo ayuko angekuwa huko angekuwa amekufa We have a duty listen There are no two people who think the same way If you find two people who are thinking the same way, one of them is not thinking. There's no two in thinking. We think differently, but we in that thinking, we are united by our something that brings us a common front, you know? Hata hii makanza mingi Kenya. Makanza ni tofauti, kila kanza inafikiria kifi yake. Kile kinachotuleta pamoja ni serikali. Sisi tunafikiria tofauti. Sisi kama wana gospel basi ndio maana hatuna siku ya ibada iwe ni Jumamosi iwe ni Jumapili tuko job. Wa Sabato strictly Jumapili ni ya shetani Jumamosi ndio yao. Wa Katholiki Jumamosi ni ya shetani Jumamosi ndio yenyewe. Wa Islam ichuma. Sasa lazima kuwe na serikali itakayotuelewa sisi wote. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. So really mimi nikaangalia nikasema na mkiwa wa Kristo Musinyamasa, every time you see a brother or a sister accused on issues you have no understanding, whether proven guilt or not, you have a duty to pray for them. Hata wale wamefungwa because they did something wrong, it's still our duty and responsibility to go and pray for them. Dio mana bibirina sema, muliniona nikiyo kwa tika chera, muka nitemberea. So you, usiwe na mipaka katika ukristo wako. Uwe utakuwa ni utoto. Uko mafu katika ukristo, autaki mipaka autaki mipaka useme huyu hapana alitukosea huyu a a sasa utam... ukifanya hivyo na ukikutana na mtu ambaye aliua bwana yako utamsamee akwambie wakati umekuwa mchungaji akwambie sasa ile unaomba kabisa unachagua viongozi roho mtakatifu akwambie huyu ndio mzee wa kanisa ukienda kumchagua akwambie eh pastor kidogo tu hata kama umenichagua kabla sijaokoka tulikula mama yako <laughs> utaendelea na hiyo safari ya kumchagua na ni roho amekuelekeza uko mafu katika maisha ya Kikristo ni lazima 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 tukomae we must mature kwa sababu hapa kwa hiyo kanisa hata kwa hili kanisa utakutana na watu wengine ambao utaoba kama kama ninyi wachungaji siku moja utafungua kanisa bara nyamira na kabla uchaokoka labda ulikuwa na mtoto na, na mwanamke mwingine alafu watokea huko na mama yake na si watu wametokea kuja kukustaki ni kuokoka wameokoka na wamekuja kwa hiyo kanisa utafanya namna gani si wameokoka wamekuja wako kanisani so what will you do utaomba transfer hello yes wengine ni watu mlio lala nao kabla uokoke na umeanza kusema watu wapokee roho mtakatifu unapita karibu na demu yako wa zamani unasikia re mama raba asem na wewe ulio lazima tukomae we have no choice you, when you become a believer you must mature maturity means you outgrow some things that's maturity hallelujah unaweza kuwa kanisa hii imekuwa kubwa labda ulikuwa umekosana na mke wako wa kwanza akaenda kule wewe ukawa mwingine na sasa ule mke amesikia kuna pasta kisi akiombanga kitu kinafanyi na wewe ndio umekaa hapa mbele ndio unanisaidia kushika wale wanaanguka Now in the process ya kushika unakuta huyu mtu anasema mondo dalie bali meli You must be prepared You must be prepared We, In Christianity if you don't mature <laughs> you'll be stressed <laughs> You'll be stressed You will be so so stressed Kwa hiyo mimi mimi nafikiri tuna wache pia Uh, wa kuwaombea wa kuombea hata mwinjilisti Ezekiel yes. we have a duty yes. we must pray for it yes. don't be afraid don't be afraid we pray for him and they will overcome that Amen. hallelujah every minister makes some mistakes when god wants to promote you he isolates you Like I was talking about Moses that God took him from his zone 
ile ya Misri mali alikuwa amezoea akampeleka Midian kwa Chethro kwa sababu kwa huko Midian ndio kulikuwa na muti ambao utaongea you know so god humbles you so that you can hear him usije ukafikiria unafanya miujiza kwa nguvu zako kwa uwezo wako god can isolate you take you to Midian na huko Midian ndio Musa alienda ku, kuomoka akapata manzi na aje tuko nyuma na Musa Musa angeoa machini ya Misri lakini Mungu akamhurumia akaombereka akawa mtoto wa pasta simupigi Yesu makofi mtoto wa si Chetron pasta the priest of Midian akapata mke na hapo hapo Saidi ya, ya muke hapo ndio alisikia sauti ya Mungu you know sometimes god takes you to a place of humility to speak to you najua hata sisi wachungaji kuna wakati ukiwa huko juu wakati mwingine unakosa kusikia sauti ya Mungu so sometimes katika katika maisha haya god can take you hata wewe kama mtu Mungu anaweza akakupeleka chini unaona kabisa hata kifedha ndio uweze kumsikia because hakuna mtu hakuna capacity ya kusikia Mungu akiwa huko juu hakuna Mungu kazi yake ni kuinua watu kwa hiyo ili aweze kukuinua lazima mkutane hapo chini Anatakanga mwenyewe akuinue Bwana asifiwe kwa hiyo Mungu akatakuinua ukiona mambo yako aya, ayaendi vile ulitegemea kuna sauti unafaa kusikia usifunge masikio hapo kwa hiyo situation ndio Mungu anaongea kitu unajaribu kuweka katenda akaendi tru unajaribu kuuza hata gali kama mimi aiendi unajaribu ku unajaribu kuanzisha ka discussion kwa kwa kwa, kwa boma aka break through unasema round hii nitajaribu tuongee eh nataka niwe ninaongea na mke wangu at least mara moja kwa si kwa siku unafika kwa nyumba ndio unasikia sasa usiongee kabisa uongee na kiti na simu na tv na hata hiyo simu ukiulizwa eh what are you watching i don't know I, because you don't know what you are watching you could be watching something like sometimes nikiwa ni, na, na fikira nyingi na watch tv alafu my wife ananiuliza at amesema nini hapo Muliza, nani? <laughs> Na, nani? By the way, when you find yourself in such a situation like where evangelist Ezekiel is at the moment, it's a time to hear God. We should never look at it like the devil, the devil, the devil alone. Let us also focus on what, what is God communicating? Because in every situation God is saying something. Therefore, we have a duty to pray for him. And, uh, and this may not be done by many ministers because ukimuombea uta, utaambiwa mko na yeye mko na yeye inua mikono tumuombee tuko na yeye kwa Yesu yes. amen lift up your hands and speak something say god thank you for the man of god thank you for the good work that is happening in cliff we pray that you scatter every false allegation upon his life we speak a blessing to his life and to his family we pray for his children in the name of jesus christ We speak a blessing to his life in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for him this hour that God Almighty you will show up in Cliff. You show up for his life. Show up for his family. Show up for his church. God we thank you. We bless you. Thank you Lord. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. Amen. All will be well for him. Amen. I say all is well for him in Jesus name. Amen.